the right time to utilize or extract the equity? Well, there's a couple of different rules that I follow personally. Um, the one biggest rule, the, the biggest one I think is, can you afford to borrow that money? Is the repayment within your budget? Because two things happen. If it's not within your budget, you're not going to be able to borrow the money. That's one, right? Mm -hmm. right? And two, if it is within your budget on paper, can you actually do it? Uh, or can, can you maintain it based on your actual lifestyle, not the lifestyle you submitted to the lender? So that's that's really, I mean, that's just the truth, right? Yeah. <laughs> and so that's the rule on the refinancing. But now the full extraction of equity, meaning the sale of the property, when, when to do it. You know, that's that's funny because that depends on your strategy. It is my strategy, but I do know that there are many real estate investors out there that believe in the buy and hold long term for good. There right. is no no thought about them ever uh, letting go of a property. They rather keep on building onto the property. And there's nothing wrong with it. But for me, when I look at a property, I look at the return on investment, my my cash flow. Now that changes. So it's a comparison of return on investment, meaning what I put in and what I'm getting out passively, the return on equity, what I'm getting out passively divided by what the actual full equity is right now. And then the final piece of that puzzle is if I'm able to net extract after a sale immediately five or more years worth of my passive annual cash flow currently, to me, it's time to seriously think about pulling the trigger on a sale. Mm 